I look at important people going by. But there's no more important than the Lord Jesus Christ. You can know the drivers. You can have their signatures. But I have the blood of the name of God's only begotten Son, God himself. Neither is there salvation in the other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Great fanfare, but not of Jesus Christ. Great multitudes of people go in the broad way that lead us into destruction. And yet Jesus Christ has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can enter into heaven except by Jesus Christ. No man has a name that is worthy of all praise but the name of Jesus Christ. At the name of Jesus Christ, the angels in heaven, the cherubim, and those that have been washed in the blood, bow down and worship Jesus Christ. Today, you can put your faith in that finished work. You can put your trust in Jesus Christ and have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life for all eternity. And when you've got your name in that Lamb's Book of Life, you are known of God. I don't know if God knows some of the drivers and their names. He may. But if you're not known by God and your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life that lasted forever, when you take your last breath, you will fall off, you'll be buried like anybody else, and you'll wake up in hell, Luke 16 says, and in torment. And it'd be a waste to hear the gospel being preached right now in your ears that only Jesus saved that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Eternal life is set forth today to you by Jesus Christ and no other. Set forth to you salvation to get to heaven. I'm not giving you a religion. I am not giving you a means, but only by the means of the blood, the precious blood of Jesus Christ that will cleanse us from all sin. Everyone's a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God is not this big meanie in heaven. He desires, he's long-suffering, that he gave his only begotten Son. The love of God is Jesus Christ. The fact is that we're all sinners. For the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. So when the Bible says, we're no good, and the holy God says, be holy, for I am holy, there's no access for you to get to God on your own merit. And the fact is that the wages of sin is death. We're going to die one day, and death is not it. There's eternalness. We have an eternal soul. And then when we pass off on this life, we can be absent from the body and present with the Lord through Jesus Christ. Or we can die and be buried and wake up in hell being in torment. It is your choice. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's not religion. Listen, Jesus answered religion by saying, I am the way the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says that he is the way, there is no other way. There is no other means to get to God but by Jesus Christ, the blessed hope.
is a man profited if he gained the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Now these tickets that you bought, you know, money, credit. But when it comes to your eternal soul, God does not take credit. He does not take cash. He takes the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now God, our Creator, created everything that we have today. Our money comes from resources of the earth, and the earth was made by God, so the money is God's. By gold, by silver, by trees, the paper. And you're not going to exchange your soul by something that already belongs to God. And yet, the wages of sin is death and the gift of God's eternal life. Eternal life to get to heaven is not by religion. It's by what Jesus Christ has done. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now, when it comes to access to God in heaven, Jesus himself said in John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus himself says there is only one way, the way to God, religion's not going to do it. You're not going to approach God with your MasterCard, your Visa. They'll be rejected, they'll be declined. And the result will be eternal hell. Where if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Eternal life by God's Son. salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved it is good that you know the name of your driver but yet do you know the name of the creator the man that suffered and died for your sin that name is the Lord Jesus Christ and more important is your name known in the last book of life if your name is not found in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will be cast off into eternity, into a lake of fire. Yes, sir. In all aspects, it's not, it's the whole thing, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And the one to who to know is the one that said in John chapter 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We know all kinds of names today. We know names of present and throughout history. And yet there is only one name above all names. The Bible says, again, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. That name is the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You're not going to get to heaven being a Baptist. That's not the name. You're not going to go to heaven by being baptized. That's not the name. You're not going to go to heaven under a name of NASCAR. That's not recognized in heaven. Down here on the earth, you may celebrate and honor cars going around the track, but that's not what's in heaven. In heaven, the one that is to be glorified forever is the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, not of works, least any man boasts. And we're dealing with many different people from many different parts of America, with many different beliefs, many different religious backgrounds. And I'm going to tell you many go the broad way. And yet few will go through the straight gate that leadeth to life. That straight gate is through Jesus Christ. That straight gate is by what Jesus Christ has done. He suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried 
and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That's the love of God. The love of God is Jesus Christ. The wrath of God is when you have not put your faith in Jesus Christ. And the wrath of God is plain and simple as H-E-O-L. I mean, we can say go to hell, but when God will tell you to depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never do you. It's because you have never known Jesus Christ as Savior. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. You're going to die, but that ain't it. There's an eternal life for your soul. And it will be spent in hell without belief and faith in Jesus Christ. It'll be Baptist in hell. But a man that is a Christian is a man that has put his faith in his trust. In the finished work of the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God will not take money. He will not take checks. He will not take IOU. He'll take the precious blood without spot. The Lamb of God. That is the means into heaven. 